Hello everyone, I'm Lastigo and I'll be the host of today's Women of FGC Mortal Kombat Edition where we highlight women in the community who are successes. Today I'm going to be interviewing Saki Sakura. I'm sure you guys heard of her. She's an amazing Mortal Kombat player and she's a very talented commentator and she's the co-founder of Queen of the Hill series. And yeah, let's get started. I'm really excited. Hey Saki. Hi. <laughs> Can you tell something about yourself? My name is Saki Sakura. I usually go by Saki in the community. Um, I am a commentator for the FGC as well as a player for Dynamic Focus. Um, I compete in Guilty Gear Strive as well as Mortal Kombat. And when I'm not competing or playing fighting games, I am everyone's favorite waifu. I play a lot of anime games and uh, dating sims. Awesome. So how did you get into Mortal Kombat? I actually got into Mortal Kombat with Mortal Kombat 11. At the time, I was dating uh, someone who uh, was really into the scene. Um, I actually didn't know anything about the FGC until uh, one day they were like, hey, this game's coming out. Um, do you want me to get it for you? And I was like, yeah, I guess, you know, we could play. It's just a way to spend some time, I guess. I had known a little bit about Mortal Kombat because I actually remember going into a video game store and actually seeing the trailer for Jade and I was like, wow, she looks really awesome and she looks really graceful. And when I got Mortal Kombat 11, that's when I started actually going into the FGC where not only did I fall in love with MK11, but I also got to meet an amazing group of people like the girls of Babality to where I am today. Yeah, I played against you, right? In the first event. Yes. Um, it was really fun. GG's, by the way. Again. GG's. <laughs> it's been two years now and you're still playing MK11, right? Yes, yes I am. There's still that competitive drive because there's still a lot of tournaments happening. I actually participated in some past tournaments as well and I haven't given up on the game and I'm still going to keep playing it. It's just not been a streaming game per se. Maybe I haven't streamed it as much, especially since right now I'm really focused on trying to win tournaments. Um, so a lot of my training has to kind of be done offline so I can get the best uh, results for it. Mm. Yeah. So is it like that you don't want to share your tag online, like during the streaming or? Oh, well, no, not really. So my streams are always about sharing tech, um, including like uh, going and doing Sundays, right? And dedicating it to actually training some of the newbies. Um, I actually sit down, I review their VODs with them. I actually train with them. I actually talk about their characters with them. I even go into death when I'm uh, streaming the game as well. So it's not so no. much about not wanting to share tech because again, I don't really believe that by sharing tech, you're, you're keeping people from growing, right? You're, you're forcing people to kind of like sort of suffer and then you're not allowing the community to grow. So I'm, I'm strongly against like trying to guard tech or guard tournaments and, and things like that. My next question is, why did you start playing competitively? When I first saw Infinity and the Babality Girls. It was definitely inspiring and it was definitely a big motivating factor um, as far as like, I want to be in her shoes one day. I want to be able to play just like she does and mm. sort of, um, you know, gain the recognition that she has. I think about the 13 year old Saki um, who went through so much turmoil um, because there was nobody who looked like her, right? Um, yeah. competing or playing in video games and so uh, one of the reasons why I'm like still competing and I push myself the way I push myself is um, because I want to be that person for anybody um, so that they see that there is someone like them mm. um, whether they you know they're chunky or you know they're Latin American or um, you know they're a person of color or you know they're pan demi because that's how I identify myself yeah. um, and you know, I want them to know, hey, uh, here's your representation. You don't have to be like the other people in the scene or the other people in the FGC. You, you can be you um, and you can make it here. Yep. I love that message. I love it a lot. You are uh, here with the Queen of the Hill series. Can you explain what's Queen of the Hill? So Queen of the Hill is basically in event series. Um, it's not an organization. Um, it is an event mm -hmm. series run by me 
for women by women. And it is really more to highlight all of the women in the FGC, women and non-binary as well, making sure that people see them and that they get their recognition because they're working just as hard as anyone else. What we try to do is if you're a commentator, this is an opportunity for you. This is where you can get some practice. When these women are applying for commentary to like CEO and to Summer Jam or to NEC or to uh, Combo Breaker, they have the footage and the proof that they know and are capable of that big lead. If you're a player, this is also a place where you can practice as well. And you can earn some cash too. It's giving that opportunity so that these ladies can be shown and, and be highlighted. I've had ladies who've competed and yeah. sponsors didn't know who they were until they competed in Queen of the Hill and Ooh. they got signed. So that's oh, that's my that's goal amazing. Yeah, That's really amazing. <laughs> I have one more question. Uh, what advice would you give to women and other marginalized genders who want to get into the community? Oh, okay. So if I had to leave you guys with one advice, I definitely say um, no matter what anybody tells you, the only person that whose opinion shouldn't matter is yours. Um, don't let anybody tell you that you're not good enough don't let anybody tell you that you haven't done enough and don't let anybody tell you that you're not worth enough because only you are the person that gets to really determine that and that is probably one of the biggest motivating factors as both as a competitor and a streamer um, where you can see where you want to be and where your goals are um, aligned to be. You know, if no. you are thinking about being that next big top eight placer, right? Or that next big um, Sonic Fox, for example, you hmm. are the only person that can actually say yes or no, not anybody else. Um, so yep. when you grind and when you actually put in the work and you actually tell yourself, is this worth it? Don't say, is this worth it for everyone else? Say, is it worth it to you? And if it is, keep going because it's going to pay off at the end. You're great. You're amazing. <laughs> thank you again for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Where can we find you on the, the internet? Um, so you guys can find me at the following. Um, I'm on Twitter. Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch um, as Saki Sakura TV. It is just TV at the end with everything put together. And then you can find my YouTube um, under Saki Sakura. And uh, I also am running, of course, again, Queen of the Hill. If you want to follow any of those updates as well, uh, you can follow at the Q O T H S stands for the Queen of the Hill series. I hope you all had fun watching us and uh, I hope to see you soon in the next episode of Women of FGC Mortal Kombat Edition. And uh, thanks again for watching. Bye.